our health cast today a potential major advancement in the world of in vitro fertilization. It's through a process called in vitro gametogenesis, and Japanese scientists use skin cells from mice to create sperm and eggs from that. They were able to um, derive cells from the, the tail of mice, um, essentially turn them into stem cells, and then uh, eventually make them into gametes or sperm and egg. So this has far reaching implications for the practice of, of fertility medicine and the uh, options that are now available um, for someone who is suffering from infertility. So that's fertility specialist Dr. Armando Hernandez Ray, who says it will be a good five to 10 years, though, before this process is actually perfected. And in that time, there could be some ethical considerations that are going to need to be talked about and addressed. And a recent survey by Prevent Cancer Foundation found a large number of adults are not getting checked for skin cancer on a regular basis. 70% of Americans 21 years of age and older who were surveyed said they hadn't had a skin check in the past year. It's important to know that skin cancer doesn't discriminate. Anyone, regardless of the color of their skin, is at risk for skin cancer. People of color, unfortunately, are often diagnosed in later stages when they don't have as many treatment options. And this is something that we want to try to change. So currently, there is no home test for skin cancer, but if you do notice any changes, a development of an irregular shaped growth, you do need to see a doctor right away for a more detailed exam. And there is another new study by researchers out of the University of Florida highlighting the risk and the link between asthma and cancer. They found that people with the respiratory condition were 36% more likely to get lung, blood, kidney, ovarian cancers, or even melanoma. The risk was even higher for asthma patients who didn't use an inhaler. According to the CDC, more than 25 million Americans have asthma.